<coughs> Oxaliplatin is a well-known and effective chemotherapy agent for treatment of colorectal and other cancers. However, it has high toxicity, specifically neurotoxicity, and a number of regimens have been attempted to reduce that side effect, notably the addition of calcium and magnesium or intermittent therapy, both of which were, were tested in the CONCEPT trial, which was stopped a year ago when a data safety monitoring board reported, quite surprisingly, that the addition of calcium and magnesium actually reduced the efficacy of oxaliplatin. Today, however, CONCEPT investigator Dr. Howard Hoxter told a very different story here at the Gastrointestinal Cancer Symposium in Orlando. As we know, um, oxaliplatin uh, is associated with a cumulative neurotoxicity so that patients develop paresthesias and numbness and have to stop treatment before they achieve the maximum effect. So in this trial, the CONCEPT trial, we used two strategies to reduce neurotoxicity. One was to cycle oxaliplatin every four months on or off and continue the other chemotherapy and bevacizumab. And the second was to give patients calcium or magnesium. And we did that in a double-blinded fashion. Uh, the study was stopped prematurely, however, by a data monitoring uh, committee analysis that was concerned about the safety of calcium magnesium. Their original analysis of preliminary data showed that the response rate was lower in the calcium magnesium group. What we showed today was that once we collected all the scans and an independent radiology review committee looked at every single scan and scored it very carefully, uh, and we in analyzed it in several different ways, calcium and magnesium had absolutely no effect on the response rate uh, for the treatment with Fulfox and bevacizumab in metastatic colorectal cancer. So doctor, let me be clear. You are now saying that adding calcium and magnesium to oxaliplatin does not in fact reduce its efficacy. Is that correct? That's correct. We're still collecting and analyzing the neurotoxicity data to see how effective it was at reducing neurotoxicity. But many people have anecdotal experiences and in fact in the trial we had to drop the randomization towards the end because most people, most physicians and patients were resistant to not getting calcium magnesium. The result of this analysis, however, shows very clearly that calcium magnesium is not deleterious for use of Fulfox and Bevacizumab. We don't know how effective it is and if it can reduce the cumulative neurotoxicity, but for patients who have painful neuropathy and acute neuropathy that can be helped with calcium and magnesium, there's no reason today not to give it. And on follow-up, you are not, however, saying that the addition of calcium and magnesium to oxaliplatin does reduce neurotoxicity. Is that correct? If you go back and read the letter in JCO, we said this was an interim analysis, but we wanted our colleagues to know that the study was stopped and this was a potential problem but that we were doing this independent radiology review. Now I can report to the same colleagues that it, in fact that was incorrect and calcium and magnesium does not adversely affect response rate in any way. In addition to reporting these findings here at the Cancer Symposium, are you contemplating any other efforts to get out the word? We'll be working with um, the cancer advocacy community to inform the patients because they were really very, very helpful in getting the word out to patients and physicians that this is a potential problem. And I think they'll be eager to see the potential to use calcium and magnesium to reduce symptoms again back in the clinic. In your own clinical practice, are you going to go back to adding calcium and magnesium to oxaliplatin? Well, since we just revealed these data public today, I haven't actually gone back to using it, but I will be again. I think it's very safe and I'm not worried about using it at all in patients who have um, significant toxicity. So exactly when will these data be reported? And now I'm referring of course to the neurotoxicity data. We'll have some of the data at ASCO 2008 in June and maybe some a little later than that. But we will be pr presenting more data this year. Just to sum up, the word is no effect on efficacy, so it is safe. It is safe to, res to resume treatment this way, but unknown if it would actually be beneficial in terms of reducing neurotoxicity. Is that correct? That is correct. Thank you very much, doctor. At the GI Cancer Symposium in Orlando, I'm Peggy Peck for MedPage Today.